So we were going down the Chattooga River, and it was an excellent trip. I forget where we were, and when you go with the guide, they tell you when to paddle and when not to paddle, when to go forward, when to go backwards. And I think she had told us to paddle forward, and when I stuck my oar in, it I hit a rock, and within a split second, whew, I was out of the boat again. And one of the rules when you leave the boat is you get on your back and you put your feet towards heaven and because you don't want to try and stand up in any river like that because your foot could get stuck in the rocks and you could either break an ankle or a leg or drown. It's probably not an appropriate thing for a little person to listen to, but that's one of the realities of going down the river. Um, so the, yeah, it was a little, little bit of an unnerving episode and the guide had to actually uh, leave the boat and come out and get me because she could not get back to where I was and I wasn't floating towards her. But overall it was a good trip and the boys and I enjoyed it immensely. One of the things we learned when we started camping was uh, how to leave well because the first few times that we left I couldn't figure out why everybody was so grumpy and just, you know, discontented. And it was because the fun time, or what we perceived as the fun time, was over that, you know, we were having a good time and we didn't want to go back to our normal everyday stuff. But vacations are good so that you get time away. And we had to learn that we needed to leave well and not grumble at one another or be ugly. And I think from there on out, we, we, we pretty much had done a good job with that. And then on the next segment, I will tell you some more about I think I've already told you once about the trip with your mom. The rain that I had last night was nothing, um, that was a lot, I don't know if it's probably about the same as the rain that she and I had when we went camping. Um, but I'll tell you about that in a little bit, okay?